Mary, let's start with you. You, you had your near-death experience when? In 1999. 1999. And where were you in the world? I was in a part of southern Chile. And what um, were you doing down there? I was kayaking with friends of mine and inadvertently went over a waterfall and became stuck at the bottom. Submerged under eight to 10 feet of water Oof. And for 30 you? minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, for how long? For 30 minutes. For 30 minutes, underwater? Underwater, that's too long. That's way too long. Do you have a sensation of blacking out? No, I actually never had a sensation of being conscious and then unconscious. I had a sensation of being conscious and then more conscious. And I'm a spine surgeon, so I kept doing little self-assessment exams, and I could still feel the weight of the water. But I felt wonderful, and I could feel my spirit separating from my body. And I was greeted by a group of people, spirits, beings. I'm not quite sure what to call them, but they were overjoyed to see me and welcome me and love me and I had this incredible feeling of being home and I was so uh, permeated with this intense absolute love of God that even when I looked back at my body I had no intention of returning. You wanted to stay in this place. I did. I'm a self-confident person and I assured them that I could stay and that would be okay. <laughs> uh -huh. And they used that as an opportunity to then give me this laundry list of things that I still needed to do. And I was told about my oldest son's coming death, and at the time he was only nine years old. 